here at Vallesburg at this Sherman and this Sherman is a great example and why I love doing these videos and looking up the history of these tanks because this Sherman has some great story to tell uh, this Sherman was knocked out at on this spot on 22nd of November of the 21st of November 1944 by a 88 mm gun and we're going to uh, have a look at what happened here shortly but it was hit more than six times by a Sherman uh, by an uh, 88 mm gun from that busy road over there maybe in that place there could be the position of the tank it was the driver took a position by the hill on this spot but it's he got he was the first to die because he got hit he was uh, the, the only one to die because he got hit by a bouncing shrapnel by bouncing the shell was bouncing off the turret hatch and we're going to have a look at it closely because the shell bounced off of the front armor here of the, the, yeah, the front hatch the top hatch and it landed right in that turret over there but that didn't knock out the tank and uh, it only uh, the driver was killed because of flying shrapnel or maybe of uh, pure of the pressure of the 88 millimeter shell and they turned the uh, turret around because they thought that the fire was coming from behind those bushes over there a little bit farther because you can see there is yeah a bounce that the, the, the sh and one shell bounced off so this tank was probably on the far from two sides and it bounced off and so they turned the turret around to the uh, left side or to the right side and as soon as they realized it came from the right side it's, well, it was already too late because the second hit is over here and that jammed the turret ring so the crew bailed out and got into a M4 half track and that was also hit and the uh, crew got injured by that and if you look at their uh, dates that they died it was on this day but the history doesn't say clearly if they died in the half track that was hit or they died later on on the day so we don't know that not only one person survives of the whole crew of this uh, of this Sherman tank Again, well, waiting to the truck uh, to pass by if you can see closely it was hit more than six times the third hit landed in the side setting the tank on fire but that doesn't didn't matter anymore because the crew was already bailing out at that point the, the fourth hit was probably in that hatch and the six after uh, six hit was probably in the turret above so but that one that hit the hatch went all the way through probably because it was already open so we're going to have a look at that closely at the second because I'm going to climb up this thing you can see the two exit points right there of two entry points right there so yeah, uh, the Borg La Rhine and, uh, like I said before I don't do French so yeah the driver was pretty much really unlucky the crew and the other crew were pretty pretty lucky <laughs> in that regard really proves how now I look closely probably this shell just bounced off but I don't know precisely where it bounced to maybe that top side hole because this is another hole because it has it even uh, made a clean hole 
so I have no idea where that bounced to. I don't think that bounced inside the turret, I think that bounced totally off. That's why the crew was uh, unharmed. We're going to have a look. So this unfortunate shot killed uh, the driver of the tank. Pretty much the tank is uh, complete. It has all it did has the gearbox and everything in it. But yeah, that's an unfortunate shot. But I don't think it's probably this bounce shot right here. And it, the, uh, there are two bounce shots. If you look closely, there's one this one. And there's another one right on top of it. You can see that. So maybe this one was the one that bounced off like this. And then another one hit right there bouncing off a second time so they turn the turret to return fire but they did it work out that well because the second shot penetrated uh, ricocheted off the side and jammed the turret ring so the tank was immobilized so the uh, the 88 it penetrated the tank more than four times or more than three times at that point one in the two times in the turret and one times in the sides the tank on fire we're gonna have a look at that hole and that's a big hole probably a lot of bouncing uh, stuff right in there I really didn't want to be in there at that moment. But that say the first shot into the turret probably missed a lot of stuff. But that one to the uh, to the hatch, that's a bad one. Probably killing a lot of people if you were in there. But, uh, luckily they bailed out, sadly they still died. Later that day, or in the half track, we, we don't know that. So, yeah. But maybe we can have a look at the shooting position on this side, so probably they there was an 88 right here, up that road. And we did this. Of course they would set 88s to cover this road because it's on a hill. This is precisely where you want to place your tanks coming up to that town. And you want to cover this road. So the Germans did a good job in doing that. This tank's position was pretty good also because it was positioned behind the hill but the crew got confused in where the enemy fire came from and it turned the turret the wrong side around and got hit pretty badly. 